A common household product is being used to get high, and local doctors warn that it is more harmful than many people think. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us live from the medical examiner's office, where there have been seven cases in the last 12 months with this warning. Janice? And those seven cases may not seem like a lot for our district, but the CDC has warned that Florida as a state has the most cases in the country. This is an emerging drug that can be highly addictive and deadly. When you think of bath salts, you might think of a relaxing bath, but a drug by the same name is killing people. Unfortunately, doctors say it's being used as a street drug with many names. Bloom, Cloud9, Flaca, Scarface, Vanilla Sky, and White Lightning. Dr. Marcus C. Cavallo is a board-certified medical doctor psychiatrist who helps people work through addiction. He says young adults think bath salts are a weaker drug than MDMA, ecstasy, or amphetamines, but that's not true. Since they believe that it is a weaker MDMA and they have used MDMA in the past, they tend to take more of it. Dr. DiCavallo says this is why we are seeing the surge in overdoses and deaths. The CDC warns most people dying from eutalone overdoses are 25 to 35 years old, followed by 35 to 44 years old. Overflow and overdose the brain. The Medical Examiner's Office District 4 covers Duval, Clay, Nassau, and supports two other counties. Between August 2021 and July 31st, 2022, there have been seven cases in which eutalone was present in someone who died from an overdose. Opioid overdoses have been combated with products like Narcan to reverse it. But for a person who uses eutalone or bath salts, they cannot be revived with Narcan. Eventually, here in Jacksonville, what we're going to see is a surge in, in deaths with this. He warns the street drug, like any other, is being made any and everywhere. No one knows what else is in the drug, and it can kill you the first time you use it. And Dr. DiCavallo said this is a very situ serious situation. He encourages parents to talk to their children about this. That's normally an age group that is very experimental with things. And this is something he says they should not experiment with. Reporting live at the Medical Examiner's Office for District 4, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.